I'm at a trade night hunting for gold Pokemon cards. Can I see what's for trade? Uh, yeah, for sure. You want you And yeah, that's me, dressed up as a giant Pokemon binder, which is exactly what you do when you get a free booster pack for showing up in a costume, which I almost didn't get because I could barely fit through the door. My handmade costume seems to be a hit with the crowd tonight. I love it. <laughs> but what these people don't know is that finding gold cards is just a small part of a much larger quest that I'm on tonight. I'm really here to get my $900 charge are back. It's not here at the card shop though, it's here at home, hanging around my arch enemy's neck. Oh yeah, and he happens to also be my son, who won my PSA 10 Hidden Fates Charizard in a challenge with a super debatable ruling. Does this count? Does this count? Well, that part. No. And in another challenge where I could have won it back, I lost in the last minute. No! Today, however, I got myself another chance. Here's what happened. Flashback. I was putting the final touches on my costume when all of a sudden my son walks in and he says, hey, and I was like, hey, and then he's all, dude, that's a big binder. Dude, that's my Charizard. And then he said, I'm gonna give you another chance to win it back. Okay. What are the At trade night tonight, I want you to get 15 gold cards. 15? Easy. But all of them must be gold Pokemon cards, not item cards. Okay. And then he said, and one of them must be the gold Pikachu from the Ultimate Premium Collection Box. And I was like, of course. All right, so I'm a giant binder and uh, this is a little embarrassing. That said, I'm actually more worried about this gold Pikachu that I have to find. It's a special Pikachu that came in the 25th anniversary Ultra Premium Collection Box and it's metal. Would people bring a metal card to a trade night? Cause they don't really fit in binders like normal cards. Either way, I need 14 other gold Pokemon cards. So let's get going. Now, I thought this costume would be cool to wear and trade at the same time. And people did enjoy the costume, but whenever I opened up the binder to trade, yeah, it just looked wrong. <laughs> Does feel like really wrong. So instead I got out of the costume, put it on a table and it actually became a huge centerpiece that everyone started to gather around, including my guy, Mike. Mike helped me out a while back when I was trying to complete base set within 24 hours. And immediately he took interest in some of my cards, especially this reverse crystal Ho-Oh from Sky Ridge. Oh, and this guy, the one who looks like he could crush me. Yeah, he comes into play later. So keep that in mind. Anyway, Mike handed me his binder to trade and yo, I think this is a sign. And I'm your twin brother. Flip Flipping through, boom, a gold Galarian Zapdos, exactly the kind of thing I'm looking for. And next, a gold Eternatus V. The golds were nice, but the Crystal Ho-Oh is definitely worth a lot more, even though it is a bit damaged. So I kept looking in the binder and yo, a prime Umbreon. This is what I'm talking about. I pulled out my calculator and yep, we're still a little under. So I pulled out a prime Typhlosion and a prime Espeon. This was starting to look a lot better. But then Mike started to get cold feet. He just couldn't imagine giving up his Umbreon Prime. All the while, this guy to my left was literally pulling out a bunch of other ho-ohs that I had in the binder. I guess all the ho-ohs are coming out tonight. Another person gave me his binder, and as soon as I flipped to this page... Yo, where are these from? Oh, and look down there, Charizard promos. What up? So I pull those gold cards out, and then I find a gold houndoo, but I totally missed the gold obstacle that's right next to it. I'm just so overstimulated at this point. Sorry, everybody. I'm just like no all over the place right now. And I also pull out that Gengar VMAX alt art just in case. Okay, let's get organized here because I literally have zero gold cards in my my hand out of 15 that I need. So let's get back to Mike and close that deal first. He doesn't want to give up that Umbreon, which is unfortunate, but he said he'd pay the difference to me on Venmo. So the trade was even. And I was like, sure. First trade done. And I got two gold Pokemon cards and two cool prime cards as a bonus. Now we are over here. Yes. Yes. All right. This was the guy with the three gold cards I picked out a second ago. These are so dope. You were looking at the Scream, Scream Eevee. Eevee. Okay. That's right. A Monk Eevee Scream promo. <laughs> These things go for a pretty penny for sure, which is why I said, And we got a little work to do, yeah? Yeah. So I checked out his binder again to see what I could find. Ho-oh guy over there still waiting patiently. And then the ho-ohs you're looking at, right? Yeah, yeah. So I look through the binder again, and yep, I actually spot the golden Obstagoon this time. Thankfully, it's kind of amazing what happens when you focus on one thing at a time. With that said, I'm noticing with the cards that I pulled out, they just don't quite match the value of the EV Scream promo yet. But then she lets me look at her binder, and I think they came together. And hopefully I can find something to add to 
it a lot. And yo, this binder is not only cute, it's stacked with some really good stuff in it. Look at this Latios Latius tag team alt art, and this Snorlax Eevee tag team alt art, and this funky looking Eevee over here. And yo, right there in the corner, a gold Mew VMAX from Fusion Strike. Let's pull that one out for sure. And oh my gosh, Pikachu's galore. Yes, I personally collect Pikachu promos, and I think we can do something here. Let's pull this one out. Let's also pull this Pokemon Center surfing Pikachu out. Oh, whoa, look at that one. That's cool. All right, no more gold cards. Hey, what are you doing to my binder? Oh yeah, this guy's still here. I thought guns weren't allowed in this store, yo. Okay, okay, back to business. Breaking out the calculator now. There's a little conferencing going on between the two of them. The screen promo is such a dope piece of art, but I need my Charizard back. While waiting, I pop the gold cards I already had into this baby binder so we can keep track of everything we get. The Eternatus V and the Zapdos go in first, and I pop the primes I got from Mike back into the giant binder just in case we can use those for trading later. Finally, all the calculations are done. So we're at like 140, 145 here, and this was what, 130? I mean, if you'd be down for that, we could we could just do that. At this point, all I can do is hope, and then all of a sudden... Yeah, you good? Yeah. Bye, High five, thank you so much. Thank you. We got him. Five more gold cards to add to the list. The Gold Mew, let's pop the Houndoom in there, the Golden Obstagoon, the Shaman EX, the Alakazam EX, and I'll pop these Pikachu promos in the back because I'm definitely not going to be trading those today. We're at 7 out of 15 gold Pokemon cards, but I still have not seen anybody with any metal cards yet. That could bite me in the butt later. First, I have to say thanks to the Chipmunk family here because they waited so patiently and all they wanted was an autograph. Like, oh, I'd love to sign it. Are you sure? Is this okay? And on the plastic or the actual card? Uh, the sleeve. So I signed this card for her and oh my gosh, these costumes are actually the best. And dude, that's a Mike Wazowski costume from Monsters, Inc. Deep Pocket Monsters, Inc. I don't think it's a coincidence. Anyway, it's time to say hi to Ho-Oh guy. Yeah, all right, thanks for waiting. I'm sorry. I'm interested in your Ho-Oh. I collect ho -Ohs. Yes. Now I'm curious. I really want to see his collection. Do you have your collection of Ho-Ohs here? Uh, I left it at home. Ah, it's all good. Probably a smart thing to leave all the Ho-Ohs at home. Can't make a wife out of a ho -oh. I really got to enunciate when I say that, by the way. Dude, this guy is making me super nervous. What's he calculating? Probably how to destroy me. So Ho-Oh guy gives me his business card. He's actually known as Pika Dude. I think he needs to change his brand to like Ho-Oh Joe or something, even though his name is Ulysses. Anyway, he pulls out a Japanese Ho-Oh EX from 2005, a Shining Ho-Oh promo from Shining Legends, and this Ho-Oh EX from Breakpoint. My guy, you got tats too? Okay, I guess you're next in line to fight. I mean, trade. And at this point, Ulysses starts pulling out Pikachu promos from a little container he had. I think he heard me say I like them from a previous trade. Oh, hey, and I got that surfing one already. We're talking like 60 to $65 across these three. So I'm looking and I'm looking and I don't know. I need gold cards more than anything, but let's see if there's just something I need out of here and really out of this lot. Just this one promo caught my eye. I'm interested in the tea ceremony one. Then all of a sudden, this guy appears. You look familiar. Uh, yeah, Deep Pocket Monster. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, yeah. I love meeting new people. This is awesome. Okay, back to the trade. So there's about a $15 difference here. Yeah. I mean, I could Venmo you 15. Um, I think it's and... It's sent. Ooh, my favorite sound. Cool. No gold cards, but yet another trade for a Pika promo. I'm gonna take it. And then the inevitable happened. Hi. You are a big man. <laughs> nice. Don't don't beat me up, please. Don't don't beat me up, please. <laughs> Um, what are you looking at? Oh, snap. Wait, he's got gold cards and they're already out for me. This guy is a buff tattooed saint. <laughs> nice. Now, some of the cards I already picked up, but this Flaffy and this Ice Rider Calyrex, I definitely need. He's got his eye on this Groudon EX from Double Crisis, but I'm gonna need a few more cards from him to match the value. So he brings me a couple boxes and then this happened. Oh, dude. I thought I saw that in there. Was the Moltres in there or was it? It was the Zapdos. Oh, my man. Well, there you go. Yeah, bro. 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 <laughs> that was pretty cool, but I didn't find any more gold, but I did find a Raichu V to make up the difference of the cost here. And yep, this is what's on the table. Hi, big guy. Boom. Another trade down and three more to add to the list. And then without even time to think. Hi. Hi. Another person who was waiting patiently, who already pulled out this Cubone Hollow. And from what set? I don't even know. Do you want to look through? Yes, please. Anything? Yes, please. Looking through her binder, it didn't take long. There he is, the gold.
gold chonka chew. I don't know what the prices are of these, but I would do that. I um, would also do that. You do? Okay, cool. Thank, Thank you so you. much. And just like that, the gold chunks has been acquired. And we're at 11 out of 15 in our challenge. Too bad it wasn't the gold metal Pikachu. And again, I'm still scared we're not going to find this because I haven't seen it yet tonight. Let's hope we find one soon. Right after that, somebody else came by with a pack fresh Galarian Articuno, another gold card to round out the golden trio of birds. And he wanted a not so pack fresh Japanese Misty's Gyarados that I had. And I was like, yeah, let's do it. In the binder it goes. And now we're at 12 out of 15. Then this guy came by. His name is Amon, kind of like Pokemon. Iman, nice to meet you. And he wanted to trade for my Team Aqua's Kyogre EX. Unfortunately, he didn't have any gold cards, but he did have this PSA 10 Sleepy Dragonite from Evolving Skies, which is such an awesome card. Whoa. Looking at it closely though, it does look a little off-centered, even though it's still a 10. So we made the trade and I paid him a little bit extra for the difference in value. And then finally, I had a moment to look up and take a breath. The rush was over, but my challenge wasn't. And that's when I found Terry. Hi, Terry. How's it going? He's the one who set up this entire trade night tonight, and he's helped me out in previous challenges too, and I'm hoping he can help me out again today. I'm collecting gold cards, gold Pokemon cards. I have a gold Pokemon. You do? I need it. Terry knew I was looking for gold cards, and then he showed me this. So does this count as a gold Pokemon? Uh, no. What about, what about this one? Whoa, what the heck is that? That is a shiny Shinx. A shiny Shinx. I'd never seen this card before. Number SH12 from Platinum Arceus. I mean, it's gold colored and it has gold hollow. And then he handed me a bunch of other gold cards, which I already picked them all up from earlier. So I would be down to trade for this, this one. Guy? Yeah. All right. I don't know if I can trade for it if you're not wearing it. So yeah, you know what happened next. <laughs> Soon after though, when it was time to trade, I remembered exactly why I felt so awkward earlier. Eventually, Terry pulls out my Gyarados EX. I get out of my binder and then we get down to business. As I'm looking through more of Terry's stash, just in case, I come across these two amazing cards. They're obviously not gold cards, but I'm picking up some really good stuff here tonight. So here's the trade, the CP2 Latios and the CP2 Palkia and the Shiny Shinx for the Gyarados EX, which is a dope card, but I already have one that's graded and it's Terry. Thanks man. Thank you. Appreciate you. And that Shinx is now number 13 out of 15 and it looks really, really cool. We are coming down to the wire now. So we need one more plus the gold Pikachu. And uh, it's 8.15, maybe another hour. Why? Okay, uh, so hopefully we can get it. Then Terry calls me over and was like, yo, how's the challenge going? Where are you at? Yeah, yeah, I need one more gold plus that Pikachu anniversary, yeah. You don't have that one? I love it. You Terry, I, you're my guy. And although he didn't have the metal Pikachu, he did have a couple more gold Pokemon cards he was willing to trade. And I was like, well, what do you want for them? This will definitely help. What's the smallest thing you got on there? I don't know. All right, I'll trade for the Cramoran, but you have to sign it. Are you sure? Because I want to give it to a buddy. He's a Cramoran corrector. Oh, cool. Okay. I'd love to, yeah. So I signed the Cramoran and bam. Yeah. Dude, thanks, man. That's awesome. Thank you. We got 15, 15 gold, but we don't have the Pikachu. We need the Pikachu. We need to find the Pikachu. The anniversary Pikachu, the, the big one. That's, that's, I knew it was going to come down to that, but we got 15 now. I didn't see any metal Pikachus the entire night, but I had an idea. This evening's event is at TC's Rockets. And at TC's Rockets, there's someone that always comes through for me. And I think you know who we need to find. Brad. I walk over to the cabinets. I don't see Brad yet, but I thought I saw something in the cabinet here. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, come on. Whoa, gosh, Brad, you scared the crap out of me. I need a one card to finish this challenge. Okay, what card? It is a gold Pikachu 25th anniversary. Like the, pr the promo that comes in the, um, the, the UPC. Oh, I don't have one. Oh, you don't have that? Bro. No. Bro, you're supposed to be the guy. Let's go. I know. Okay. Um. Blah, 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 blah. That was like the only requirement tonight. I have 15 gold cards. One of them had to be a Pikachu. Okay. I gotta keep asking around. Over here, I found a gold star Rayquaza, but no gold Pikachu. Then I asked this guy. Do any of you guys have a gold metal Pikachu from the uh, Ultra Premium Collection? Never heard of it. Then I find Mike. We have the gold, <laughs> gold Pikachu from the uh, Super <laughs> Not for trade. <laughs> no gold Pikachus here. There are no gold Pikachus anywhere. Did my son just pull the ultimate troll? The one gold card that he knew just was probably not gonna be here tonight? Will I ever get my Charizard back? I looked through more binders and more binders and more binders, and I just wasn't finding anything. I was beginning to lose hope when I remembered something. In my bag, I had something. A trick up my sleeve, if you will. Yo, Terry. 
Can we like hand these out and just open them for that fun? That would be awesome. Yeah, let's do it. If I was gonna lose this thing, you know what? I can still help people and have fun doing it. So I handed out packs of Japan's new set, Paradigm Trigger, to everyone in the room. And I even forgot to bring my camera with me. I love this community so much. And this is the least I can do to give back as this channel continues to grow. And more and more, I just find that there are real, genuine, awesome people in this space from all different ages and backgrounds. People with genuine love for this thing we call Pokemon. And then every once in a while, when you least expect it, like when you're opening a pack of cards and you find the chase card that you've been looking for, magic really does happen. I was gonna say, I have the, the gold one, like the actual one. Yeah, this one, but... Oh, wait. Oh. I don't... I... I... I'm stunned. Like, how did that... How did that just happen? What do you want? I'm eyeballing that Gyarados right there. Dude, I cannot believe you just pulled this out of thin air. I... I... I cannot believe this. No shot this is in my hands right now. Where... Like, I swear. The universe, if you give, it just gives back to you. Like, it just works like that. And then all of a sudden, it was done. Dude. We did it! I completed the challenge! I get my Charizard back now for my son. <laughs> Alright, so I went to trade night and I got four gold cards. Eight, 12, 13, 14. 15 gold cards. Where's the gold Pikachu? Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Oh. Oh, that's good to have you back. Good game. Good game. Thanks so much. Uh, when do I get the gold cards? I never said you were going to get them. Wait. Hey, no. <laughs> this isn't over.